I am testing muscle strength for DIP flexion. Forearm is supinated with wrist in a neutral position with test finger in extension. Stabilize proximal and middle phalanges of the test finger. Bend your last knuckle as far as you can. Now I will apply resistance and don't let me straighten your finger. Relax. The muscle grade given would be a 4G because I applied moderate resistance. The muscles being used in the finger DIP flexion is the flexor digitorum profundus which goes from the upper three-fourths of the medial surface of the ulna and then splits into four tendons to each finger which attaches to the DIP joint. I'm measuring active range of motion of finger DIP flexion. Place your hand on the ulnar side with fingers extended. The axis of the goniometer goes on the dorsal side of the DIP joint. The stationary arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the middle phalanx. The movable arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the distal phalanx. Now, bend your finger at the last joint while I measure the range of motion. The range of motion for this movement was 0 to 45, and the normal range of motion is 0 to 90. I am measuring passive range of motion of finger DIP flexion. Place your hand on the ulnar side with fingers extended. The axis of the goniometer goes on the dorsal side of the DIP joint. The stationary arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the middle phalanx. The movable arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the distal phalanx. Now, I will bend your finger at the last joint while measuring the range of motion. The range of motion for this movement was 0 to 60. The normal range of motion is 0 to 90. I am testing muscle strength for thumb palmer ABD duction. Forearm is supinated with the wrist in a neutral position with the thumb adducted against the volar aspect of the index finger. Stabilize the wrist and the second metacarpal. Abduct the thumb by moving it towards the ceiling away from the index finger. Now I will apply resistance with one finger between the MP and the IP joint. Don't let me push your thumb down to the start position. The muscle grade given would be a 4G because I applied moderate resistance. The muscle used in the thumb palmar ABD duction is the abductor pollicis brevis, which goes from the scaphoid bone of the wrist to the base of the first metacarpal. I am measuring the active range of motion of thumb palmar ABD duction. Place your hand on the ulnar side with fingers extended and the thumb against the palmar side of the second metacarpal. The axis of the goniometer goes on the dorsal CMC joint of the thumb. The stationary arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the second metacarpal and the movable arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the first metacarpal. Now move your thumb away from the palm of your hand like this. The range of motion for this movement is 0 to 60 and the normal range of motion is 0 to 50. I am measuring the passive range of motion of thumb palmar ABD duction. Place your hand on the ulnar side with fingers extended and the thumb against the palmar side of the second metacarpal. The axis of the goniometer goes in the dorsal CMC joint of the thumb. The stationary arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the second metacarpal. The movable arm lines up parallel to the longitudinal axis of the first metacarpal. I will move your thumb away from the palm while measuring the range of motion. Relax. The 
range of motion for this movement is 0 to 75 and the normal range of motion is 0 to 50. I am testing muscle strength for thumb radial AV deduction. The forearm is supinated with the wrist in a neutral position with the thumb adducted against the volar aspect of the index finger. Stabilize the wrist and the second metacarpal. Move your thumb away from your index finger at an angle of 45 degrees toward extension like this. Now I will apply resistance and don't let me move your thumb towards your index finger. The muscle grade given would be a 4G because I applied moderate resistance. The muscle used in thumb radial AV deduction is the abductor pollicis longus, which goes from the upper three-fourths of the ulna to the base of the first metacarpal. I am measuring active range of motion of thumb radial abduction. Place your hand with the palm side down with fingers extended and thumb adducted to the index finger. The axis of the goniometer goes on the dorsal side of the CMC joint. The stationary arm lines up with the radial bone. The movable arm lines up with the thumb. Now, move your thumb away from your index finger towards the radial bone. The range of this motion was 0 to 60, and the normal range of motion is 0 to 50. I am measuring passive range of motion of thumb radial abduction. Place your hand with the palm side down with fingers extended and thumb adducted to the index finger. The axis of the goniometer goes on the dorsal side of the CMC joint. The stationary arm lines up with the radial bone. The movable arm lines up with the thumb. Now I will move your thumb away from your index finger towards your radial bone while measuring the range of motion. The range of motion for this movement was 0 to 70 and the normal range of motion is 0 to 50.